hello everyone today we are going to add the crossbow into our system so you can see the crossbow attached to the back when i press 3 character will equip the crossbow and i can shoot it with just uh, like any other weapon Let's see how to implement this together. Okay, so I did all the basic setup required for the crossbow. Uh, following the usual uh, procedure I have shown you uh, adding how to incl include a new gun or new weapon. So here we have some problems. The problem is uh, for the crossbow it doesn't make sense to emit a bullet shell so we need to fix that and also we need to have some much more visible uh, bullet trail here right first thing is uh, let's remove the bullet shell wait uh, I changed the arrow sound Now we need some sounds for reload as well. Let me open the crossbow blueprint. And here we have the bullet shell. Um, bullet shell particle. If I just clear this, will it remove the shell or will that give us any errors? Let's check. Right, it seems fine. Great. Now we need some reload sounds. Uh, first, let me check the animation. First, for reload. Yeah. Okay, I have these sounds. Right, maybe here at the beginning we can play this sound and in this pulling part, we can have that ticky 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 sound. So, this one shall we check? Right, okay. It seems better. Shall we check it here? We should play a bit earlier. I changed the order of the sounds a little bit. Now I think it should be fine. Let's see. Better. The next thing we need is a much visible trail for the arrow so here we do have a trail the trail that we have for all other weapons it's not much visible here because here we are seeing only uh, it's visible for 
a very limited time see that is visible in here you see that white streak maybe we should modify this trail so to give much more visibility because here unlike uh, machine gun or automatic gun we are shooting only one bullet here so because of that we it is okay to keep the trail for a longer period All right now this is the bullet trail Niagara effect that I have used here and here if I go to the particle ribbon, ribbon lifetime is 0 0.05. Now let me duplicate this Niagara NS trail crossbow. And let's assign this one for the crossbow. NS trail crossbow. And here let's modify the ribbon lifetime let's say 0 0.1 and see no not enough let's try maybe not 0 0.5 point three and the ribbon width let's try to compile yeah now it's much visible so we can see where the arrow is going also it's visible great and one more thing here we are using the icon of the m8070 we need a crossbow icon so I'll I'll create one without recording and assign it right at the moment for the weapon icon I'm using the rifle uh, here uh, let me replace with this yeah, I just created this crossbow icon and imported it and let's use this one select it here and under the weapon icon use the crossbow right now let's see yeah now we have the crossbow icon So with that, uh, we can stop this episode right here. And yeah, we have a scope in this crossbow as well. So later on, I wish to implement a mechanism that allows us to look through the scope and also maybe some different type of emanations like explosive arrows or electric arrows, stuff like that, poisonous maybe. So we will implement such mechanisms as well in the future. And regarding the scope, I wish to add the sniper as well. So there are also we would need a way to look through the scope. So for other guns, we will implement similar to looking through this scope. When we don't have a scope, we will be looking through basically like the iron sight. Right. So that's a rough plan that I have for this series in future right again thanks for watching and as always project files will be available for the download here in the patron page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye